Thank you for joining us here today. My so our pleasure. first question is, where are you from? Um, originally uh, Ohio, but uh, uh, spent a lot of time in Toronto and worked in the Aurelia area now for the last 30 years. What is one thing you cannot live without? Gosh, that's really difficult. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to give you three things. That's okay. <laughs> Family, snorkeling, and yoga. What's the best place you've ever snorkeled? Um, it's got to be Belize. If you could live in any period of history, when would it be? I love what the Renaissance brought to people. Mm -hmm. So the art, the science, the math. Um, I think the Renaissance. What is the best advice you've ever gotten? This, this came from a, a school counselor. He worked with children who experienced difficulty. And he suggested that instead of being upset if a student didn't do their homework or was acting out that I should realize that it's not about me, it's about the student. And that just made being a teacher so much easier. What is one book that everyone should read? I want to say the one that's closest to them, um, but really thinking about it, Lord of the Rings, and anything by the mathematician Marion Small. Why do you say Lord of the Rings? What about that do you think is good? Um, just being able to transport yourself into a universe that's new. Um, the elements that are, are involved uh, are just so magical and, and timeless. And if you could have dinner with one person, dead or alive, who would it be? Again, I have to, I have to change this a little bit. Um, there are a lot of people that I would love to have dinner with, you know, Buddha, um, uh, many presidents of different countries, uh, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, but really I'd love to have dinner with my grandmother and my grandchildren. Was well, something you think you'd ask your grandmother if you could? Um, I guess I would, I would like to get more of her recipes. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to ask you five rapid fire this or that questions. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. Starbucks or Tim Hortons? Starbucks. Saver or spender? Saver. Casual or formal? Casual. And skydive or rock climb? Oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to say skydive. All right, great. Well, thank you again for joining us. Okay, thanks.